so welcome back and uh, we've already taken a look at this uh, ship in a, its original state and I've been doing a little co-op build with uh, Devon today and uh, I suggested that we whack a power supply beam on this ship because it has a power supply well it's got a power recharge rate of over how much was it uh, with the beams it's 25 million 25 million uh, energy per second which and how much is the supply beam set up to do? Uh, right about that. About 25 million per second, right, beautiful. So basically what we've got here is a flying battery in space. This is the first logistics concept. So I've just taken his concept and then added a little bit. So here is the power supply beam, as we mentioned. It'll run down the whole inside of the ship. Uh, we've already talked about how the generators work in that previous video, so go watch that. And then if you see the thrusters just here, you put those on for me. And what you could call some wingy bits, which will come in the form of intakes and scoops. Now the front section is my is the bit I've done, just this little bit here. Um, a couple of interesting little ideas. First, I've covered up this. This is an escape pod sort of containment area. There will be a docking here and or here, and you dock a little shuttle in there. Now, you probably say why. Well, probably just for cause, really, just so that you can get in. But with the new gravity changes, you uh, simply put gravity blocks in two directions. In this corner, that corner, the one below me, and over there. And what you effectively have here is a loop. So what happens is you get off, hit gravity, and you fall up to this one, hit gravity, fall across to this one, and then you're in the airlock. Now from here, you've got a gravity elevator to each floor of which there are three, three. The gravity elevator works in a loop. So you go down and round. You're effectively shooting it out into the next bit of cover here. So you've got a bit of a gravity loop elevator system. Obviously, you've got the actual tunnel is in here. I haven't completely finished putting in all the wedges yet, but it's for done for most, for the most part. So on the top floor, we've got an airlock. And coming in, we've got what I've done with the bridge. So uh, we've got a command chair here, which has um, got a wedge that shouldn't be there. There we go, that's better. So we've got the uh, command chair with uh, computers for the captain to use while he's sat in flight. And a little monitor at his feet and to his right and left hand sides. And we've got room for two sort of bridge crew members with all computery things and stuff. Massive, legit view screen. Not like, you know, a, a, an actual just hello hello space it's right there massive open space i just wanted an actual though if you actually sit in the uh pilot seat here it's kind of cool so yeah <clears throat> going through the captain has a uh jacuzzi so we've got the captain's jacuzzi and that's just to the right of the bridge because i was thinking i could make another captain's quarters and then i thought actually let's have a hot tub so um, going back to the lift, I'm going to go down, check out floor number two. Now floor two has a decor room. This has got a couple of layers of hardened hull, just, you know, to help against direct shots. We've got the actual power supply computer here. It does have weapons. Uh, and also an observation area, so you can go around the front of the plating. And the front, and we're going to have some uh, terrain elements and some grass growing here with a couple of mushrooms. We've got what's going to be um, a little computer station, and uh, there'll be a stretcher here for medical emergencies. Uh, obviously, we've got some power plasma conduit of some kind just there. Okay, so that's pretty much. I think that's the whole of that level. Yeah, that's that's that level done. Then we go down and check out the last level so first we've got an operations console a bit like the uh, meeting board but a bit wider so and then i've left a little bit of space here for customization lol not really it's going to be a giant uh it's going to be a giant kerfuffle and i'm going to put that in there so anyway that's pretty much it did you want to say anything about it i think it's ready uh... to test no, I just think we should try and give it a test and see how it works. Mm. 
so basically, uh, I'm gonna get out of build mode. Again, the ugliness of the shit. I'm out of build mode. I'm somehow, I'm so, I've somehow ended up in side it. <laughs> Hold on here. I'll, I'll give you a hole. Uh, I'm, I'm out the, f the left. I'm out the front here. Here. What? Around? Nice. Uh -huh. I'm out. I'm free. Okay. So there we are. Uh, there's still a few more wedges to go down here and there, and the gravity system won't work until point one's invent is uh, in place. But hey, it's pretty much ready to go. <clears throat> okay. So let's get down to the core room. Our supply. Oh wait, what? Wait, wait. Line arc declared war on whoop whoop. <sighs> Alright, well let me get in the power supply computer, eh? Well you can get in the build block, I think it's still activated now. Nope. Doesn't work like that. Oh, get out the core, I know. Yeah, jump out. Okay, so it doesn't matter, you don't need a co-pilot. All you need is the ability to store it up and then dish it out. So if you've got a fast yeah. recharge, you just go into cycles of charging exactly. yourself up and then delivering right. it. Right, so basically if you look, you just beam and then you recharge. Beam. So yeah. Basically, this can dump all its energy into the ship that it's supplying, but then when it runs out, it's got the ability to quickly recharge using the auxiliary reactors. I would say that's a fair way to explain it. Yep. And then this thing can be flown solo in support of another larger ship. Yep. Or on its own, because it has AMCs. Mm. Fighting on its own, but you know, they're just there. Placeholders. I'm going to take it because it has the ability to fight on its own does not mean it should be fighting on its own. Exactly. That's true. That's yeah, true. no, it shouldn't be fighting it really on its shouldn't own. Be, but no, it really shouldn't be fighting there. on its own. <laughs> <laughs> he, basically, those reactors would just take on the form of some kind of active shielding because. You know, yeah. people would have to chew through that. But to be honest, if this if this if this is taken head on, it's only got like one layer of glass and three hardened hull block layers to get to the core. In fact, there are some shots where you've literally got there are some angles that you've just got a straight line to the core with like one bit of water in between. Yeah. But that's fine because it's not a combat ship. Right. This is the sort of thing that you'd have at a space filling stop, I guess. Well, yeah, that's kind of the idea, like, if you had it, like, say, in a fleet, mm. then this would never see combat, like, you, it would basically be sitting back... It would be at the staging seconds. round. It would be yeah, at the staging round. Away. exactly. Yeah. So, your fleet would go out and fight, and then come back, then say your, you know, your capital ship still needs more energy, so you fill it up, go back out. I think it came out looking alright in the end, mate, because... With the reactors being on display like that on the outside, it's a uh, really nice look. Yeah. It's come out real nice. Well, yeah. It was just built, a box before. Yeah. Well, if we had built, like, purposely built it that way, we could mm. have made it look way better than it does. Yeah, but to be honest, actually, this looks pretty funky, mate. Because when, yeah. <laughs> when you think about it, what is it? It's a power supply ship. And what's with all those yeah. things on the top and the bottom? Oh, they're auxiliary reactors, so it can recharge itself between supplying. And then it's like, yeah. oh, so basically it's a big long opal ship. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's it, I'm down with that. <laughs> Could probably do with a bit more wingy bits on the around the engine at the back, but to be honest, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Back it does the job. It reminds me of um like a tanker or something. Oh well, yeah, it's kinda of what we were what we were going for. But yeah, you should load this into the dev build and uh, put the grab put the put the grav blocks in place because you got a gravity loop going through with you through the elevators over the AMCs down behind the plus sign back under the AMCs and then up through the thing again. I don't know. Well, if I, want, I want to see what uh, 
too if it's targeting a ship. What, you want to see how it performs? Yeah. Well, we'll need a ship with lots of power then, won't we? Something... Fortunately, what I have on the dev server right now is quite literally just a shell. Yeah, we'll have to turrets. We'll have to save the testing for another time. Suffice it to say, I know it'll work, because the way we're using it now, you will deliver 25 million energy per second until it runs out, and then you will have to recharge yourself. But I still the gauge, it doesn't take long. It would take you what? What was it we worked out? Was it four minutes, maybe? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Four minutes to recharge, but it would normally take a lot longer than that. And any supply, yeah. I mean, the thing is, you think about if you had three of these at a supply station, all with players in, just to refill capitals that are dead out of power. Yeah, pretty much. So that was, what's the name of the ship, by the way? Does it have a name? Have a note? Not at all. It needs a name. What do we call it? The Shroom... The Enabler. No. <laughs> the Dura Shroom? The Dura Shroom. We've already yeah. got Shroom cells, so that doesn't work. The, oh no, that's okay. The, no, the, yeah. Dura Shroom doesn't work either. The Shroomerizer. No. <laughs> Shroomagizer. Uh, <laughs> just trying to think of something else I can rip off. Um, hmm. Um, energy. Yeah, energy. Energy room. The energy. What about just the energy the shroom? Ever shroom. You are. Yeah, I like that. Energy actually. shroom. What the ether shroom? Ever. Oh, ever shroom. Yeah, like Everlast batteries. Oh, Evershroom. Yes, that's good. Ah, oh, that's good. Now I get it now. Okay, so Evershroom then. Sounds good to Evershroom. me. Evershroom. The Evershroom. By Devin. Alright. With a little bit of help from me on this derpy office block style <laughs> cabin, which allegedly has three levels of complete pointlessness. But hey, you know, the bridge looks okay. The bridge is awesome. Mmm, it's alright. I was just I was just trying something new out with the uh, captain's chair really. Um, I should have had more ideas, but uh, yeah, <laughs> isn't that always the way? See, I figured this would be more like uh, you know, like the bottom room isn't really for planning war; it's for planning like surveyors. You're surveying where you got to go to supply people in like neutral areas. Yeah. So it's not so warlike. There you go. So anyway, yeah, so thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.